Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we have some monster news to talk about from the first fang vote rounding being open now for the upcoming collector Jennifer Long doll we have new face sculpts for the collector RuPaul doll, Sanderson sisters and more and we also have a new two pack listing for Nephra and Cleo and new vanity and more so stay tuned and let's get into it okay here we are on the fang vote forum here, this is where you'll be able to vote if you are a fang club uh, member you got to be a member to vote if you're not a member you can join right now for 10 bucks but you don't you don't have to join you will be able to purchase the doll at 90 us dollars when she eventually uh, goes up for pre-sale um in two weeks or yeah then february 9th so no worries she's not gonna be not gonna be an exclusive to fan club members just you know the, fa the voting process is exclusive so let's take a look here um we have a post here talking about um you know round one starts now as previously announced this fang vote is all about the daughter of the chinese dragon jennifer long for round one we're asking you our most passionate monster high collectors what your preference would be for her hair makeup and jewelry and nails you'll have two options to consider for each category and the accessory with the most votes will be selected for this spectacular doll and obviously her final design because her dress uh, and outfit has already been finalized so that's no longer in the you know in the <laughs> that's no longer a voting thing uh we're also excited to share some exclusive designer notes from designer Annalise Lau to help you decide with option which option you like to vote for so um it's really small but here we can see um like some of her notes so we have the first one here mythical muse for her hair um then we have eternal icon oh i know this one's a fan favorite from what i've seen everyone's really loving this hairstyle but i mean another high ponytail like it's not really original but like the actual design here and the the hair jewelry and hair dress is definitely unique just like the high ponytail is a little bit overdone so i feel like for that sake we should go with this one but i don't love the horns <laughs> i don't love the braids and i don't love this headpiece so here we have the imperial gardens uh, and then here we have the Ember Empress. So very similar, but also very different. So that's the two makeup looks. And then lastly, um, kind of boring, but we have the, you know, jewelry and nails. And with jewelry, they basically just mean earrings and a little arm cuff. There's no bracelets or necklace, I guess. Um, so we have the Fiery Splendor collection, which includes this earring. And then these nails in red and the arm cuff. And then we have the Floral Opulence Collection, which includes this earring. I, I prefer this mold, I think. Um, and then the rest is green. So the arm cuff and the nails. That's kind of like, I, I don't know. I mean, it's basic. I get that everything else about her is very extravagant. So I guess it makes sense that they wouldn't want to make everything about her very, oh, amazing. But um, the singular tone arm cuff, like there's no gold painted details. Like I, I kind of wish that there would have been some gold to match the earring um, or here with, you know, the red arm cuff, some green to match the earring. Um, but it's okay. They still look like really good sets of options. So that's all the options we have for all three categories so let's see let's vote the voting ends on sunday so be wary you gotta vote now better don't forget um and let's start with the uh the hair so we have mythical muse uh, strewn with plum blossoms and dangling pearls, this dreamy braided look is a modern interpretation of a traditional headwear, infusing dragon elements and modern chain drapery. Then we have Eternal Icon. The high ponytail gets a historic inspired makeover with a twin dragon caged headpiece decorated with ornate pearls and floral detailing. So, me personally, I, I prefer this one. Eternal Icon, I just, I mean, it, it's in the title she's an icon she, she needs she i think this is just a, a win by far um then we have now oh yeah ember empress we have talk about a smoldering a smoldering gaze with crimson eyeshadow and bold lips this regal pearl draped lurk is so blazingly bold it's on fire i do love the pearl detailing here like that is very nice um i like how it kind of like 
touches her makeup almost like it's weird <laughs> but it looks so cool i love the lip shaping the makeup it's it's really like um divine but like not too much like it's very it's just enough you know and then we have imperial gardens with a hua dian Oh, I wonder. Oh, that's like a the symbol, right? Yeah, that's like the the symbol, the design on her forehead and lotus petals blooming across her cheeks. This makeup takes natural beauty to a whole nother level. So, um, this I, I love the flower details with like the eyes here, uh, and I do like this symbol here. I do. I think the pearls on the sheet on the cheeks here, the two pearls, is such a cute little detail. It's like unlike we've ever seen before um but the lip shape i don't know I, I like the other lips better so and the green eyeshadow i don't know if i love that so i think overall as a whole i think i prefer um this one it just kind of goes better you know i i don't know i mean i know people really are, are, are trying to go for this one but i just i think it's the green makeup it's just too much it's too much you know like her hair is already green like i feel like and her eyes are already green like i just it's like too much green like if it was like a like a smoky eye green gradient from light green to dark green on the outer corners like you know like a little smoky moment but green that would have been cool but like here it's just all green like different shades of green like to me that's just not very um it's just kind of like boring so i definitely think this looks better because she's definitely giving like that smoky eye here on the outer corner and still some green some teal on the inner uh corner here like the the, the little um you know like cut crease moment i guess so that's very cute I, I yeah i'm gonna go with ember empress there we go and then lastly we have the floral the accessory nails floral opulence collection an elegant cloud inspired arm cuff lens and ethereal touch to gold floral earrings and jade and nails and then we have fiery splendor collection scarlet nails and an arm cuff on dancing flames complement complement tasseled earrings adorned by a jade dragon amulet okay so what are we gonna choose here i mean it's like very like very simply put this is red and uh, ooh, this is this is red and this is green so green red like there's just it's like a very simple like you know it's just green nails green cuff red nails red cuff um and i feel like we gotta choose the the green to kind of balance out the the red i'm not sure i don't know i don't love this earring i but i do love i don't know i just feel like it's too much red here is it uh, yeah a little bit oh i don't know okay let me see um i voted for this face which is like more red um then we have this Ooh, interesting okay i think i'll have to go with the red okay we're going with red okay <laughs> fiery splendor got it voting for that one here we go and uh, that is it. Let's see. Submit my vote. Hey, there we go. And it worked. Thank you for submitting your response. Uh, that's my vote, you guys. Let's see what ends up being the winner combination, which is also interesting because like, although we're Although the outfit has already been decided, um, it's still going to be, it could potentially be a little bit of a, a, a messy situation if we get a, a, a mixture of options that are, don't really go together. Like, I don't know. Let's see what the winner combination looks like. Because, um, uh, yeah, it could look better or worse depending on, again, the combination that ends up winning. But uh, that was my vote. And uh, let me know what you voted and next below. we're also getting a brand new two-pack ag1 release including cleo and nephra so we're not only getting a crew production for cleo from her wave one release but we're also getting uh a brand new uh two-pack looks for both cleo and nephra uh so that's very exciting this came out of nowhere and so this is a, a really ni a nice surprise so nephra is coming back in her g1 form um it seems the two pack might release um between july and august of this year and of course uh it, it's two pack so it will retail between 50 and 60. i'm not sure if it'll be like a mattel creations deal exclusive or whatever um or if it'll be like a holiday thing i don't think so but like it'll just be like a, a nice little two-pack collector release or maybe not even collector it's just like a playline release uh no because obviously g1 stuff is now alumni and all of that is considered i guess collector 
yeah i don't know what they'll release it as um but uh it's on a pricier side so let's see uh, of course you know with this two pack we're gonna get new looks so it says here nefra makes her g1 return alongside her sister in a two pack this their existence was originally found by at cleo's nile and today i am able to bring details of their outfits both girls will come in high fashion looks and wear golden he headdresses the adults will also come with head handbags details regarding their release are and pricing are also still unknown so again the 50 60 bucks price uh releasing around uh, july august that that's all subject to change but this sounds very exciting i definitely cannot wait to see like what they're gonna look like are they gonna, are they gonna be matching or like is it like gonna be a, a mall theme like they're going shopping or something like that's so now cute. we're also getting a brand new uh clio vanity play set this year uh this i believe is gonna be g3 clio not g1 uh because remember for g1 uh this the the um, dead tired series they released a bunch of play sets for that series and including a vanity play set for cleo uh, which i have <laughs> uh check out my monster High collection video to see that up close and all the other stuff as well but um this vanity i guess is going to be a brand new thing again based in the g3 uh you know version of monster high not g1 not alumni it's not a reproduction or anything completely new so it says here a golden vanity that features sculpted cobra details is the perfect place for her to get ready a chair and bust like the statue kind are also included as pieces to play with as for the doll herself she will wear a turban and come with beauty accessories so yeah it's a playset with an exclusive doll um similar to like the laguna spa day doll but she didn't have a place it was more like just you know gimmicky hair stuff um so this is interesting i wonder like how big the place it will be like the vanity um it, it's it, yeah very interesting and maybe it, uh it'll match like future place sets as well because obviously they've already done uh claudine's bedroom uh they've done the school creepateria right now they're also doing a, a huge school release soon so interesting i i, I wonder what else they're going to turn into play sets so that's really cute also exciting it seems that we're not only gonna get a nefra two pack you know new doll and a new vanity play set but we're also gonna get maybe a new Halloween doll whether that be g3 or g1 unclear but you know based on these recent trademarks and now with this you know new two pack with a new g1 nefra doll i think it's safe to say that we'll also be getting something Halloween related uh this year. moving on over the past uh week two weeks <laughs> we've had a uh, for new head sculpts uh, that have come out from various different uh, sources. Uh, first, we got the leak of the new uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon head sculpt, which is very clearly of that doll and it seems it's going to be a, a gender bent uh, version of that character uh it, it was originally male in the movie but i guess they're going to make um the character into a female uh with the f the head sculpt looking uh you know obviously it's a female head sculpt uh but i do wonder like what's going to happen with the rest of the doll because like the actual character there's no outfit there's no clothing it, it's basically naked <laughs> right so i wonder like what they're gonna do with the actual doll like will it be more like inspired by the swamp and lagoon and like like textures or or will it really be like more um like basic and and like stripped down so i wonder how they're gonna translate that look of the creature into the actual doll. then we have this picture that shows three new head sculpts uh the one on the far left definitely looks like perhaps the wednesday uh christina ricci version of the that's collector doll for the two-pack the one in the middle could be one of the sanderson sisters or it could be morticia adams and then the one on the far right could also be morticia adams or one of the sanderson sisters or it could be um, one of the new Wednesday dolls for the Netflix series. Um, but one thing for sure is that these are definitely uh, newer head sculpts. So a very interesting uh, indeed. We also have this new head sculpt in a other gray tone actually uh now this looks like morticia adams actually with the cheekbones so very interesting uh, i i i'm very curious to see like what these he head sculpts will actually be used for like what characters because so far i'm kind of um yeah I'm, I'm confused i'm thrown i don't know now most recently we got this new head sculpt which is undeniably of the new rupaul's celebrities collector doll this head sculpt 
100% based on RuPaul. That is that doll. Insane. I mean, look at that similarities, the nose, the lip shape, the lip, like how it's open, the, the eye shape. It's all perfect. Like it's all 100%. It looks like RuPaul. So, um, and of course we also knew beforehand that this character of RuPaul, um, in the Monster High world would be uh, based on a dragon creature. So that's why the ears also look different. So definitely very, uh, I'm very intrigued, like with this very new, uh, like undeniable, uh, head sculpt that looks like RuPaul. Like I, I'm very intrigued, like curious to see like what the doll will look like, what the outfit will be, uh, look like, like what will, will it be based on a previous look or will it be like a completely new look? Um, and also like right now the mouth looks weird because it's like open. I, I feel like it's like the tongue is like sticking out or something. So I'm, I definitely need to see like the face paint and everything on there because so far, um, I definitely see the resemblance, but like, uh, I'm still like very, like I'm questioning like what, what is like does it actually look good or am i just like in shock so i'm just i'm very excited to see like the actual doll. and lastly we're getting another new collection here of the why are you shoes monster high uh collab uh this collab includes a operetta and venus shoe we got g3 laguna and draculaura shoes we have a draculaura haunt couture shoe and then we also have one that looks like frankie stein it's not really based on a shoe design but it's just like a generic frankie stein shoe um so yeah they're they look good i think venus and operetta shoes look amazing the music note on operetta his heel so cute um and i yeah i think they're, they're cute but it's just like they're so expensive and like the previous collection was just really hard to get and they were really really expensive <laughs> and so i think like at that point like are really are people really gonna buy these and wear them daily or anything i think it i think these are shoes you you would get um if you're planning to go somewhere as you know cosplay in costume these are good shoes to have if you want to complete your cosplay but otherwise like everyday wear quality wise like do they have longevity do they feel comfortable like because i feel like also some of the materials the textiles they might get dirty quickly and like if i personally got any of these shoes i would not wear them <laughs> because i would be paranoid all the time like if they get dirty if they get you know broken ripped whatever etc like i spend a lot of money on these shoes i don't want to get them dirty i don't want to get them you know used up so that's what what i would think if i were to get one of these shoes because <laughs> i just don't think i would be comfortable wearing them knowing that i spent so much money and then now they're getting dirty um even though that's the purpose of a shoe so in that term you know in that sense right i think these shoes are more like a, a luxury item than they are really something something accessible and something that's actually supposed to be wearable but anyway that concludes the video i hope you all enjoyed uh leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel and stay in my side when i post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses